In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the user profile widget that comes with the Genesis framework. As you can see, I'm already logged into the dashboard and I'm in the widgets area. So what I need to do is find the user profile widget and drag that to anywhere I like. I'm just going to put mine in the primary sidebar. From here, it's all relatively straightforward. You've basically got a title which you can fill out more about me. Choose the user account that you would like to have associated with it so it pulls in the correct gravatar. Gravatar size, of course, is up to you. I'm just going to go with small because I don't think everyone needs to see a large resolution picture of my face. Uh, then you can choose the alignment, so uh, none left or right. I'm just going to leave mine on left. Then you get to choose the text that you'd like to use as the author description. You can choose from the author bio or some custom text. So I'm just going to choose custom text for now. Then you can choose an extended about me page. Many people tend to have an about me page on their website and if you are no exception to this, maybe you'd like to choose out of this list of all the pages you're providing that you have that. We don't have one on this demonstration website at the moment so I'm just going to leave it to none for the moment. And if you do choose to have an extended page link there then you can choose the text that the link will have and alternatively or in addition to you can share the author archive link and then just hit save when you're ready. So now we want to go back to the website and then over there in the sidebar on the left hand side you can see that we've got that author profile widget there it says more about me, this is custom information about me and view blog posts. That's all you really need to know to get up and running with this particular widget. If you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments below.